What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the channel. It's your time, Cancer Leos. It is your now for your reading. So come on in, sit down, relax. Let me shuffle up these cards for you. Okay, I did a little different camera angle where I messed with the lighting a little bit. I like this idea. This is nice. Because then you guys can see pretty much the whole table now, right? And we're a little closer. All right. So how you doing? You enjoying yourself? Having a good weekend so far? Well, that's fantastic. Glad to hear that. I want to give a shout out not only just to you right there, but to the noobs. Those are the brand new people to this channel. Never seen anything that's going on before in their life. Stick around. You're going to enjoy it, right? And of course, to my subscribers and my members, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments, right? I just love the comments parts, right? I mean, we don't get too many people bashing over there, but definitely we do have uh, other subscribers jumping in in the conversations and sometimes defending me, and I appreciate that. I mean, and we're, we're all a family, so we're kicking all the scrubs out. <laughs> Right, here we go, noobs. Two cards in the beginning. And then a little story mode, and then we'll get to the ending with two more cards. So here's the first one. Ooh, okay. Six of Pentacles. All right, that's not a bad energy to start off with, right? No, not at all. But I want to get this next card to see what this really means. Mm. King of Swords. Oh. King of Swords. Oh, boy. Well. Somehow I just keep hearing the word information. Information. Somebody was over giving something, I think, to an air sign, King of Swords here. Over giving information. This is what I keep hearing. <laughs> right. That's weird, okay? Let's just roll up with the story here and let's figure this out. Hopefully, um, you know, we can get through it without needing an oracle card, but we'll see. Well, um, all right. Well, there's an Eight of Swords here. So there's, I mean, the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is, I still, I still keep thinking of the Swords, this, this information. Hmm. But Eight of Wands is going to be a message coming in quick. So somebody's going to put a message out to say something in regards to um, somebody over informizing. <laughs> Giving too much information out. Yeah, information. Uh, it's early. Okay. Ah. Okay, so the Seven of Swords. That's lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something. Taking on too much. Okay. It's like somebody... It's almost like somebody found out something that they weren't... Uh, they... It was too much to handle, right? Too much to handle. Um, but it was like this person was freely giving out this, oh, information, right? But they were doing it dirty. So whatever information this person was getting, it could be you, it could be somebody you're dealing with because these roles could be switched. Somebody definitely um, did a little dirty and was gathering you know, too much information because we got two swords cards out here. And plus the eight of wands is messaging, right? That's a message coming in. Yeah, well, okay. Wow. Six of wands. Yeah, so peep, somebody, maybe two people, I don't, well, I don't know. I got this air sign with the King of Swords here. Oh, and you, of course, but um, somebody definitely um, 
had a lot of success in gathering a bunch of information like the crooked way, the wrong way. Okay. And let's just keep going. Wow, you guys got a really crazy reading today. Temperance. The balance is being restored to the situation. Oh, it's a very dark kind of energy. That's why I'm crazy, because like, with the Six of Pentacles, somebody definitely was given too much. They weren't aware, or maybe they were. Would, I mean, I think they were aware because you have that Seven of Swords underneath. So this person's definitely aware of what they're taking. Okay, see? It's aware of what they're taking and trying to get more by looking at those other two swords and seeing if they can grab those two, right? So somebody was definitely aware of what they were taking and it has to do with information because we have that King of Swords. But also, so it could be something to do with messaging like text messaging emails something like that but whatever that is is kind of very clouded uh the angels are stepping in here with the temperance balance and bringing uh this to restore balance because it is protected okay you were protected, they are protected. Somebody that was not doing this is protected, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Only have six of cups. Somebody from your past. So there's definitely somebody of the past that is doing this, but um, Page of Wands, oh my god. This person's immature. Seriously, straight up. This person's immature for trying to do this. Like it sounds like they're trying to dig up dirt, get some gossip going on between uh well with uh King of Swords energy. Right, because that King of Swords energy is not yours, it's two separate people. Okay. Just saying. Alright, well let's keep on going. There's a couple cards that came out. We'll hit the one that hit up. Heads up first. Alright. Seven of coins, seven of pentacles. This is an investment that they did. They were in immature investing in um, maybe even trying to block somebody with communication because they were lying about something else and they were just freely giving those lies out. Now we're getting it all a little more clear. Right. So it could look, it does kind of look like it's coming from a king of swords to you. Okay, so there's a bit of king of swords. Uh, relaying in, uh, information, false information, lying information to you. Okay, but the angels are stepping in and um, this person's super immature, right? So now they're being put on hold, right? Now they're going to just wait, or wait it out, okay? Because now the angels have stepped in and they're definitely putting a halt to this. The up temperance with the three of wands. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, there it is. Uh, that's your next card. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> the, the angels are stepping in to put a hold on this because someone from your past is coming in all fake, okay? Because that Knight of Cups, there's nothing in that cup, so it's fake, phony, false offer, right? And that's lined up with the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So now someone wants to come in with a fake offer and try to, uh, looks like try to clear their name a little bit here, right? We got the Nine of Cups again. That's confirmation. Yep. Don't trust this person, this past person that wants to come in because they were involved with somebody else that was talking shit, spreading lies, rumors, getting information illegally. All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, they want 
don't collaborate, I'm telling you. They want to collaborate with you. They want to come together. This is teamwork, right? Maybe there was teamwork involved, so maybe uh, man, a couple people involved in this whole, seems like a scheme, a plot, some kind of um, sabotage. <laughs> Let's keep going. This is weird, man. All right, it's blocked. <sighs> Told you the angels are stepping in. So they were giving it a minute for them to let... <laughs> The angels were basically letting this happen a little bit more so then the, these other people can just really step on their own necks. You know what I mean? And that's what happened. And once that happens, because somebody's going to try to come forward and, you know, be all fun, flirty, fake, right? And once that tries to happen, then the, the whole shindig scenario will get blocked and stopped. Yeah. All right. That's super crazy, okay? But we're getting we're getting the idea of it now. So here comes the verdict. Okay, let's get to that outcome here. Wow. Okay. Four cups. Rejection. Sorry. <laughs> let's put it with this last card here. Ten of Cups, yeah, you'll, you'll, somebody's going to be vindicated here. Someone's going to be looking at this cup being like, oh, I had that, but because I took part in this other goofy shit, then I lost it, okay? Because you or whoever else is going to have the Ten of Cups. So you'll be happy that the outcome is um, uh, obviously in your favor, okay? So take this how it fits, if it you know, if it fits in your box, then you can ship it, right? But if not, don't make it fit because the postman won't take it, right? Um, so that's it, my friends. Enjoy your weekend, okay? Be blessed, be brave, be bold, and be well. Peace and prayer every day, my friends. And I will see you on the next one.